Hi, my name is Sydney. I'm with the Tanya Harbor team, and welcome to <laughs> Today we are at Buffalo Wild Wings to celebrate the Super Bowl weekend. We are sitting down with the owner, playing some knocker ball, and Zach and Jason are taking on the Blazing Wing Challenge. Follow Me Friday starts now. We are here at Buffalo Wild Wings, another local business here in Abilene, Texas, believe it or not. Um, and I'm actually here with my dad, which is funny because he's one of the owners of the Buffalo Wild Wings here. Can you tell us a little bit about why Abilene and why Buffalo Wild Wings in these two locations? We have one here on the north side and one on the south side. So we've been local to the Abilene area in the restaurant business since 1970. Uh, and in 2003, we looked to expand our company and Buffalo Wild Wings was just a natural fit and missing in the market mm -hmm. and was an exciting thing for us to do. Yeah. So tell us about a little bit why it was missing in the market. What do you all do here? What events do you have? I know there's always things broadcasting on all of the TVs, but what brings the most people here and the most exciting events? Well, first of all, Buffalo Wild Wings is fun and that's where you need to be. Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> is an exciting place. The food is fantastic. Uh, and quite frankly, there was nothing like it in Abilene and we still feel like there's nothing like it in Abilene now. Yep. Um, we're happy to provide over 120 jobs in the Abilene market. What makes your business locally owned? Well, first of all, I live in Abilene and have <laughs> for a long time. Um, we have many of the people that are in management that have been with our company for decades and are Abilene locals. Uh, and we're very, very proud to be a part of this community um, and to provide some excellent jobs and opportunities and hopefully a place where people, uh, when they're feeling a little stressed out, can come in and relax and let us serve them and take care of them in Abilene. Yeah. So it's a little different than some of the locally owned businesses. We have an owner that lives here in Abilene that's in the stores every single day making sure that you have the best service that you can possibly get here in Abilene, Texas. And we just love that um, for the community here and for the workers um, that are just like family. And, and let me say um, one of the things that's very important to us is, um, you know, take Buffalo Wild Wings out of the equation is support your local businesses, um, visit them, and instead of finding things you don't like, um, anywhere you go, find something you do like and hold on to that and talk about the good things. Mm -hmm. We need more of that in our, in our town, in our country, um, just period. It's good to support and be positive um, to the extent you can. Yeah. All right, so you were telling us a little bit before we started, there's been a lot of changes to each and individual foods here um, can you tell us what y'all have changed about the burgers and the nachos to make it better for everybody? So I don't know if you can see through the camera, but my mouth is watering here. Um, the food is incredible. Uh, everything is really done with a lot of love uh, from scratch in the kitchen. Uh, we batter and make our own uh, things for the chicken sandwiches. Uh, the wings are incredible. You can't go wrong with anything that you pick. Uh, and. You get to have fun and watch games and scream and holler and high five while you're eating it. So it's uh, the best of both worlds. So what's coming up and what we are doing a lot of this for is for Super Bowl Sunday. So tell us a little bit about how it looks here on Super Bowl Sunday, how everybody is preparing probably the entire week up until that day. Well, Super Bowl is just managed madness. Um, we, we do the best we can, but chaos is fun at Buffalo Wild Wings. You can, you can, uh, come in and you can you know let your hair down I don't have any to let down but the people that have some can do that um, you, you just uh, you take away your your troubles and your cares for that day and you come into a big party at Buffalo Wild Wings um, regardless of what team you support you come in you have fun you eat a bunch of wings you high five you can scream as loud as you want uh, um, you can, you know, bet money, you know, not with us, but you can do it. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> and you can have lots and lots of fun. Um, it's, you know, it's going to be an exciting Super Bowl this year. You've got the old dog versus the young dog, and uh, it should be a really, really fun time. Speaking of that, who do you personally think is going to win and why? Although Tom Brady and I are closer in age, um, <laughs> I, I really think that the Chiefs will probably take this one. All righty.
Okay, so one of the things I am most curious about, you have a lot of people coming in for football and all these other things, but what is the most popular event you have here? Uh, surprisingly, the busiest time of year is March Madness uh, for the college basketball tournament. Uh, and there's hundreds of games leading up to the tournament. Uh, when, the, when it gets down to the uh, final 16 teams, it gets even crazier. And then we get to the final four and it's uh, bananas, crazy busy around here all the time. So. And one of my favorite things from childhood was the UFC fights. How, how many people come to that versus football, and, or is it just busy all the time? UFC is the biggest draw that we have for an individual event. It's yeah. a, an exciting time. And also, the question that I'm wondering, because I actually don't know, even though he's my dad, um, <laughs> what is your favorite wing flavor? Asian Zing by far is my favorite. So it's, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's delicious. What is the local favorite, fan favorite, food, wing, everything? Um, so we have a constant battle between our uh, boneless wings and our bone-in wings. Um, and it fluctuates between those two, which is the most popular. Um, I like the bone-in wings, uh, but the boneless wings give it a run for its money. What's the fan um, favorite flavor? Uh, usually honey barbecue is the most popular flavor. Well, that's my favorite, so <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Um, tell us a little bit about what makes this locally owned Buffalo Wild Wings different than other Buffalo Wild Wings because it being a franchise I mean a lot of the things are the same but what makes Abilene stand out? Well one of the things that we do is we invest more in our facilities in our people um, if you're gonna visit another Buffalo Wild Wings although I want to support every uh, one of our uh, partners in this brand uh, they're not as big and as bold and as local um, and the experience, we hope, is better in our establishments and you can go anywhere else. Yeah. And what we have next, right after this part of it, is the Blazing Wing Challenge. And if you don't know what that is, it's torture. So we have some people from our company that are going to represent it, um, from the Tanya Harbin team, and just wish them luck because it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Poor Jason. Oh, All right, guys, so Blazin Challenge. These are called Car Blazin Carolina Reaper Wings. You have 10 wings, five minutes. You cannot have anything to drink. You can use no napkins. Definitely don't use your hands to wipe the sweat. That's what the sweat band is for. Um, you'll get a cup of vanilla ice cream afterwards to cool it down. Um, keep the bones. Once you're done, you have to clear all the meat off of the bones. If it is not, we will throw it back at you and you got to try again. So all the empty bones go right here. And you guys ready? No. Five minutes. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Daisy, you gotta just rip it off. Yeah, don't eat it. You gotta just swallow it. There you go. Oh no. Come on, Zach. You're good. Face burns, but not my mouth. <laughs> no tapping out. Oh no. Two and a half minutes in. You can't let Jason be too. Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't get paid for this. <laughs> He's out. Two weeks left, Two minutes and 45 seconds. You gotta beat some time. Here you go. 
Yeah. You're done when he finishes, if that helps you feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna throw it out. I'm gonna wait. I just wanna know what he's looking at over there. He's like zoned out. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm actually thinking of the toilet. <laughs> I know this is not the worst part. <laughs> I'm waiting for him. What? You're at 3 minutes and 25 seconds. He's got one week left. How many bags are Uh, We've got five, counting when he's eating. Go, go. Don't give me the worst batch. Oh. <laughs> Got one minute left. One minute left. Oh, call the hospital. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, oh, Jason. Nine seconds. Don't touch your face. So, Jason. All right. Yeah, that's Got fine. with his T-shirt. Napkins. Yeah, thank you. Napkins. Napkins. Thank you. You're welcome. Also went to T-shirt. Oh. Ice cream, ice cream. Let's go ahead and get on. Let's go ahead and get him some. Would you like some milk? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, thank you. All right, Zach. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Pain and Torture, brought to you by Tanya Harden Real Estate Team. Look forward to us next Friday for Follow Me Friday, where we're going to jump off a cliff. <laughs> thank you. When your home needs to sell, pick the prize.